When learning is fun, kids become motivated and they want to do more, they want to discover more. I do believe that we're really building a foundation of lifelong learners here. When they really stop and think about it, math is everywhere. What shape do you think you might start with if you were making a snowflake? A hexagon. So I need how many sides for a hexagon? Hexes. One station that the students participated in was building a snowflake on a geo board and the focus was on finding geometric shapes and identifying those shapes. And the other station was about coding skills and developing a sequence and knowing how many spaces they had to count for the mouse to get to the cheese. Good mousey, good mousey. Yeah. The kids really love coming. They love the open-endedness of a lot of the challenges that we give them. When they feel success in here, it's like the biggest win for me because it's like they have that aha moment and they can feel success maybe for one of the first times in their lives when it comes to math. It's a really cool thing when it clicks. Get the cheese. She's gonna make it. There are five letters and technically five aspects of STEAM, but it is so hard to truly pinpoint one in isolation because you can find math in science and technology and definitely in engineering. And the fact that the teachers are in the classroom as well, there's a true blending of what happens in the STEAM lab and what happens in the classroom. There's a real bridge there. So it's a continuity of study. Guess what? No. Well, we use a lot of math today. Yeah, because that's what, how you calculate everything in your brain. So you see, um, will this work? Will that work? If you have a strong foundation, starting from a young age, they're going to become lifelong problem solvers. They're going to develop a love of learning that hopefully will extend from the school day to their lives and their careers. And that's really our goal, is to develop lifelong learners.